I'm going to miss her so much. A community rallying around a grieving family. Hundreds held a vigil for a mother and three children shot and killed in her own home by the children's father. The lone surviving child still in grave condition at the hospital. 10 News reporter Anthony Perra is live in Paradise Hills. Anthony, the family says they'll accept whatever happens to that boy. And the family says all they can do is stay optimistic. And so many people praying with them tonight. A huge turnout at the vigil held just outside this church. This tragedy impacting an entire community. United in song, bonded by grief, and joined by candlelight, the community came together at United Church of Christ in Paradise Hills to remember a family murdered in their own home by the mother's estranged husband. It was an extremely emotional night for Angel Rosario, remembering his three grandchildren and his daughter Sabrina. And her nickname was, in Spanish, was Mi Morena Café con Crema. My mocha skin coffee with cream. A nickname he gave her, he says, because of her beautiful skin. She has a lovely honey complexion. But Angel says his daughter was always a mother first. And she was a great mom. Those kids, they were asleep by 8.30. They would wake up in time to go to school. As soon as they got home from school, they do their homework. Many of the children's teachers and classmates attended the vigil to say goodbye to Sabrina's three boys. They also said prayers for her other son, nine-year-old Ezekiel. Doctors have taken him off a medically induced coma. They are running tests that could determine whether he will pull through. The family is optimistic, but they are prepared for the worst. For this weekend, we'll know one way or the other whether Ezekiel is going to remain with us or He's going to join his mommy and his brother. And the family says they have not yet finalized funeral plans. They're still waiting to hear what happens with Ezekiel's fate. They want him to be buried with his mother and siblings should it come down to that. Again, a, a very sad story tonight. We're reporting live tonight. Anthony Pura, 10 News. A crushing situation for that family. Thank you, Anthony.